Refined and responsive, Trackmania Turbo is a fun, fast, colourful and compulsive arcade racer crammed with tight controls, smooth and crisp looks and a genuinely surprising amount of solo and multiplayer content. Turbo's greatest victory is its ability to be both incredibly simple and extremely deep. Beneath its instant accessibility lurks a truly nuanced world of consistent physics that needs to be adapted to and mastered for any hope of setting record times. You need to know when to drift and at what speeds it's faster not to drift. You need to know at what angle power sliding up on two wheels is acceptable and at what angle it'll result in a disastrous rollover. You need to appreciate that once you're in the air you're completely at the mercy of your takeoff angle. Precision is paramount when you're aiming for a narrow bridge hundreds of meters away from the apex of a jump, or a colossal quarter pipe across a yawning gap. Yes, 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 no! The NASCAR modified style racer is my favorite car by far. Composed at absurd speeds and capable of long, predictable power slides, it's a perfect fit for the snaking band's huge jumps and gigantic vert ramps and loops of Trackmania Turbo's Canyon Grand Drift location. I've also enjoyed the F1-inspired open wheeler, which feels planted and grippy, but the two remaining vehicles are a bit too fussy and twitchy. Sand is a buzzkill too. I certainly concede varied grip levels are a carefully designed part of the challenge, but there were several courses I eventually found more frustrating than fun because of it. That said, even when I found myself impatient at the forced switching of locations and vehicles, it's rarely irritating. A large part of that is the length of the tracks themselves, which mostly range between 30 to 60 seconds and can be always restarted instantly. Hey, pay attention! There's a staggering 200 of these courses spread across the four areas, but there's also Turbo's fully featured track maker system to consider. The tools are definitely here to create tracks as wildly fun and frantic as the ones the developer has crafted itself, although the lack of any obvious in-game browser for user-created tracks is a big miss. Turbo's terrifically broad multiplayer component is excellent though. There's the bizarre but fun double driver mode which places control of a single car in the hands of two separate players. There's four-player split screen, a wonderful and welcome relic of the glorious era of same-screen multiplayer. Best of all, however, is the online multiplayer racing, where up to 100 players are competing in real time to set the record on any given track. It's a mad torrent of ghost cars flowing around the twisting tracks like a school of frightened fish. The first 30 seconds are always hilarious, as dozens of players fall foul to the same unexpected obstacles simultaneously. I also love how granular the ranking info is, and for me it was the prime reason I became completely obsessed with certain courses. Not only could I see where I ranked in the world, but I could also see where I ranked in Australia, and even where I ranked in my home state. My complaint here would be, although it's clear how many players are still above you, Turbo doesn't make the effort post-race to show you their exact times. So it's never obvious just how much faster you need to be to climb the leaderboards. A brilliant and beautiful stunt driving masterclass, Trackmania Turbo is fast, frenetic, fun, and only occasionally frustrating. If this generously proportioned and highly engaging arcade racer gets its talons into you the way it did me, it'll have you compulsively chasing ghosts for ages. For more on racing, stay with IGN.